We are Suso Robo and we are working on digital transformation for the elderly. My name is Maxim Makachev. Um, the, my co-founder Amir Harati and I, we worked uh, in AI uh, research and uh, startups in Silicon Valley for many years. And our third co-founder, Chikada Ryo, he, he has uh, extensive experience in sales and uh, management in Japanese uh, startups. As many of you know, in Japan, um, there are many elderly and people among 60 years old or older, um, among them, 8 million people don't use a smartphone. And those people who do use smartphone, the remaining 28 millions don't use social networking apps the way we do. What that means is that elderly are isolated from their families, not just physically as during pandemic, but also socially. And social isolation leads to reduced quality of life and decline of health. Our goal is to reconnect families with their elderly via easy to use devices. We, uh, based on the, our interviews with uh, elderly care professionals, we developed a device with a familiar shape of a lamp that serves as a sort of a, sm a smart voice assistant. It has voice only mode and can be operated just by voice using a lamp switch or voice and visual mode uh, where you can also see pictures, videos and live uh, streaming. We use our own uh, proprietary backend technology to support uh, voice interaction with the device. Let me share with you the demo video. Well, just to explain here, the grandma uh, check the messages on her lamp uh, by just turning it on. So she heard a message that uh, her granddaughter sent her via line uh, voice message. Then she said what she was, she responded. She said her plans for the day. She went outside, brought some flowers, and then she uh, updated her uh, granddaughter with uh, the news uh, of the day, took a picture of the flowers, and all of that was sent to the granddaughter line. So only the elderly person uses the device. The family can use their regular Instagram line, whatever social network apps they're used to. So our business model is to rent these devices to the families for um, say about uh, each month. And, and uh, the, it's also an open platform. So developers can develop apps for it and they can buy subscription to the development platform and get, um, we get, uh, they can sell in-app products and we can get commission from their sales. Uh, this project has won Osaka City 5G subsidy award last year. Uh, in the end of last year, it's also got an excellence award from Osaka Prefecture, uh, promising healthcare project supported by the Osaka City Bank. Um, we also got this year uh, Expo Winner Award at Plug and Play uh, final pitch day and we graduated from Kobe Founders Academy, 500 global startups as well. So our schedule is uh, looking like this. So we already developed a prototype and published uh, uh, NFT based tokens for the developers to develop for our platform. And next month, we are gonna conduct a city at the elderly testing facility in Osaka prefecture. And um, we plan to release public beta platform um, in this fall and our partner with elderly care facilities and um, health insurance companies to develop a larger batch of hardware devices and uh, actually have a larger deployment test in the facilities. So let me conclude with the following facts. Like many of us uh, use social networking apps like Instagram and uh, probably follow celebrities or influencers. So we know what they did uh, this morning or yesterday. But uh, do you know what your own parents did yesterday or your own grandparents? Probably many of us don't. Um, so our goal is to solve this problem. We think it's about time to bring elderly to the uh, digital transformation, to the digital world that we share already. And we're looking for investors, partners, and uh, customers to help us in this mission. Thank you very much.